Good morning to you from Dublin, Ireland. I am delighted to join you again for morning prayer today, Monday the 20th of, no, sorry, the 21st of August. As we begin our prayer, let us turn our thoughts and our heart to God and acknowledge that we are sitting here in his presence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear God, as I sit here in your presence, may I be fully attentive and receptive to what you are trying to teach me as I reflect on your word in today's Gospel. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. A young man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, what good must I do to gain eternal life? He answered him, Why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. The young man asked him, Which ones? And Jesus replied, You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All of these I have observed. What do I still lack? And Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go, sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The Gospel of the Lord Is there something holding me back from wholeheartedly knowing and loving Jesus? Perhaps it is my fears, doubts, insecurities, anxieties. Maybe I concern myself too much with things that don't really matter or last, like getting rich, getting a lot of material things, gaining the approval of others, and having them think highly of me. Maybe I worked hard to achieve these things, maybe years, maybe throughout my lifetime, a lifetime of hard work. Am I ready to give all of these up and to let these things go in the name of Jesus? Am I prepared to have these things, my wealth, my reputation taken from me. Who am I without my achievements and accomplishments? In today's gospel, we are shown that God doesn't only care about what I'm doing. He also cares about who I'm becoming. And so the question isn't simply, what must I do? Which is the question that uh, the rich man asks Jesus, is asking Jesus in today's gospel. The question isn't simply, what must I do? 
but also who must I become? Who must I become? Heavenly Father, your love is wealth enough for me. I am yours. May I let go of any self-directed notions of who I am and who I should be. Let your will be done, O Lord, and not my own. And together we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for taking the time to pray with me this morning. I hope you have a blessed day and a blessed week ahead of you.